Oh, please excuse my gun. I come from the harsh streets of Waukesha, and man, this fucking, these streets, man, they're fucking hard. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so, Mac apps. These, this is gonna be my top, not top Mac apps, but these are Mac apps that I think pretty much everyone should have. So, first one is Spotify and RDO. These are music streaming apps. I have both of them because both of them limit you in how many songs you can listen to each month. So I just go back and forth between those two. I'm not going to get into those that much. But another app that I think is really cool is Total Finder. It's not really an app. It's actually an extension. Um, and what it does is it allows you to make tabs in your browser. Or not your browser, your uh, Finder window, which is really cool. And it's got some other preferences as well. To access them, just go to your Finder preferences. And it should say Total Finder over here. If you go to Tweaks... You can make it so it's out. folders are always on top, which is really cool. And uh, always maximize, which means when you open it, when you open Finder, I mean, it's the window's always going to be um, taking up your whole screen, which is really nice. It's got some other features as well that I'm not really going to get into right now. Another application that I think is awesome is App Cleaner, which is basically an uninstaller. Let's say I don't like this app over here. Drag it in there. It's going to find all the files related to it. All you do is click delete and it's going to drag all those to your trash. So uh, I don't know why Mac doesn't have a built in un uninstaller, but yeah, we're going to have to deal with that for now. Clean my Mac. I uh, guess I'll open it. What this does is just scans your system and deletes all the unnecessary stuff. And it can also uninstall apps just like the one I just showed you. Um, but that one is paid, but there are ways to get things for free. I didn't tell you that. Caffeine, uh, when you open it, there's going to be a coffee icon up there. And what you do is you click on it, and it's going to fill it with caffeinated coffee. <laughs> and uh, your Mac won't fall asleep. So it's great for watching movies and stuff like that. It's a really simple application. That's pretty much all it does. Another application is VLC Player. And let me tell you this. Um, VLC Player is the best video playing application it's so much better than quicktime uh quicktime is so buggy and actually two days ago i downloaded a tv series tried playing it on quicktime no sound but then i opened it with vlc and the sound worked so i'm like fuck quicktime i'm gonna make a vlc my default uh video player so i recommend you check out vlc that one's free uh, and the last one I'm going to show you, well, not really show you, but I'm just going to talk about it. It's ScreenFlow, and I'm just going to say this is the best screen capturing software for Mac. It's won many awards, so if you're going to do screencasts like me, this is the application to use. Peace out, motherfuckers. I'm just kidding. <laughs>